Children, do you know what happens to the garbage when you throw it away? Yes, I always wanted to know that. Yes, Pomi, in our field trip today, we are going to learn all about municipal solid waste. Ma'am, what is municipal solid waste? Let's break the words. Municipal, which is an adjective, relates to a village, town or city. And solid wastes are product packaging, grass clippings, furniture, clothing, bottles, food scraps, newspapers, appliances, paint and batteries. So what do you think municipal solid waste mean? The solid wastes that a village, town or city generates? Yes, Akash. But can villages or towns produce garbage on its own? No. Then who exactly generates it? Schools, colleges, offices, restaurants and hotels, agriculture, vegetable markets, small and big scale industries. And our homes? Exactly. So, the garbage you throw away, a part of it is recycled, but over 90% of unsegregated, uncollected waste is dumped illegally. My mother told me leaving trash in a park is illegal dumping too. Yes, Pomi. Improperly disposed of waste transmits diseases, increases respiratory problems from burning, pollutes waterways and harms animals who consumes it unknowingly. The entire world produces 5.5 million tons and India produces 0.17 million tons of garbage every day. Ma'am, how much garbage is that? Let's compare the garbage produced by us with the weight of an adult elephant. So, the world produces an equivalent of 1.1 million elephants and India, 34,000 elephants of garbage every day. Remember children, it's up to us to make our city a wasteless city. Reducing and recycling waste is so important for the good of every creature that calls Earth its home. Welcome to our recycling plant children. What happened? Why so sad? We feel so helpless that we cannot do anything to make it better. <laughs> helpless? You kids look strong like superheroes. I want to know what I can do to help my planet. And if you ask me, I know that you kids can change the world. Really? How? Okay, let's start with the three R's. Three R's? Yes. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reducing means to limit usage of everything that we need. If you cannot avoid reducing the waste, try reusing. Think of ways you could reuse something like taking along your own mugs and use them instead of disposables. And if you cannot reuse something, try recycling and composting. This enables the materials you dispose of to be used again by making them into new products. What are the things that can be recycled? Like for example, you can recycle plastics, textiles, newspapers and magazines, cardboard, soda cans, just about anything. So you see how soil, water, air, everything is destroyed due to improper waste management. Yes, ma'am. Now I know that we children can do a lot to help save our environment. We have to convert waste to wealth by segregating waste at source into three streams before handing it over to the collector. Biodegradables, food waste, paper waste, manure, garden waste, dry waste, plastic, paper, metal, wood, domestic hazardous waste, diapers, napkins, mosquito repellents, cleaning agents.
Hello children. I thank your school for inviting me to speak about our responsibility towards making our country a wasteless nation. Many environmentalists are working hard to ensure that our cities are free from illegal dumping of waste. Almitra Patel, the first Indian woman engineer to graduate from Massachusetts Institute of Technology, played a key role in drafting the municipal solid waste management rules in India. Can you tell us more about solid waste management rules? Oh yes, Bhumi. These rules regulate the waste management activities in our community. We should not throw, burn or bury solid waste on streets, open public spaces or into the drain. Residential communities should segregate waste at source. Recyclable material should be handed over to authorized recyclers and biodegradable matter to the composting plant that you have visited. Here, waste will be processed, treated and disposed of through composting or producing biogas. Street vendors should keep suitable containers for storage of different types of waste matter such as food waste, disposable plates, cups, cans, vegetables, fruits and deposit such waste at a waste storage depot or a container. Manufacturers of disposable products like tin, plastic packaging, glass should support local authorities in establishing a waste management system and also educate the public on how to wrap and dispose of waste products. There are more such rules and procedures that you can read about in the Municipal Solid Waste Management Manual released by the Ministry of Urban Development as part of the government's Swachh Bharat mission. I think it's reassuring that so many initiatives are already in progress. Have there been any success from implementing these rules? Oh yes, there are so many. Take the example of Indore, the commercial capital of Madhya Pradesh. Indore has been ranked as India's cleanest city for the fourth consecutive year since 2017 by Swachh Sarvekshan, the central government's annual survey of cleanliness in India's cities. Another example is the city of Mysore in Karnataka that has been immensely successful in being able to turn trash into cash. Their solid waste management model is now being emulated by other cities. So what should we do to make my city the cleanest city in India? Where should we begin? Children, that mission begins with each one of you. Let us start by keeping our home and workplace clean and wasteless. Let's bring everyone and educate the importance of keeping our environment wasteless. I'm sure you superheroes will set an example by following and helping others to follow all waste management rules, thereby bringing municipal waste management awareness to the community. I wish you all the very best, children.